Hello people, this is episode 5 of my Pokemon Black Nuzlocke and you know, I've been just having, I'm not, I'm just very bad at this, uh, it's a little frustrating. I, every time I get a second Pokemon, someone will die and I'm always back down to one Pokemon. So now it's just Hedwig, level 16 here. I uh, hope that's enough. We are we're about to go chase chase some Team Plasma grunts. Uh, hope it's enough to survive that. Um, yeah, here we go. There's Sharon. They ran inside here, Conch. Your Pokemon's HP is fine, and you're ready to go, right? I guess. I mean... I don't really want to go with just one Pokemon, but I have no choice. Here we go. Then let's go. Alright. Little Spring Cave. I like how the, they have the Team Plasma music. Can I just wander around? Can I encounter a Pokemon here? And catch a second Pokemon? Oh, I can! Okay, okay, let's see. Roggenrola! It's a Roggenrola! I had a Roggenrola when I first played White version. So... I think Gust should be fine. Or I'll go Quick Attack, go a little weaker. I know Roggenrola usually has the sturdy ability, so it will not die on a one-hit KO. So I guess Gust should be okay, because Gust should also be weak. It should also be, uh, yeah, Gust should be weak against the Roggenrola. Uh, let me check the typing. Uh, fine. Well, yeah. So I think we should do Gust. Okay. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, that was that didn't do much damage at all. Okay. We just have to make sure Hedwig survives this too. Okay. Another little gust. It's still in the green. Okay, it's only been using tackle so far. Uh I don't know, do you think I should start throwing balls at it? Uh, okay, I'll do one more gust. Hopefully it won't do a strong attack against us. Yes, yes, headbutt! Oh, okay, okay, we're okay. We are okay. Bag. Uh, let's try a pokeball. Pokeball. Okay. One, two. No! Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where is my potions? Uh, how much does this do? 50? That's like this, right? That does 50. And this only does 20. Uh,. Yeah, I'll use the fresh water. Alrighty. Oh, and there's Headbutt again. Okay. Uh, I think I'll try the Great Ball. Wait, Dusk? Oh, I have a Dusk Ball. We are in a cave, right? Alright, Dusk Ball. One, two, three. Yeah! I have a rock and roller. Oh. oh man. I mean, Hedwig's not by herself. Okay. I'll have to come up with a name for it. 
Yes. Uh, I don't really know. What should we call the rock and roller? Are there any like rock things in Harry Potter? Not that I can recall. This is a girl rock and roller. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, maybe. Okay. I don't know why, but I just. I was just thinking of Harry Potter female characters, and Cho came to my mind. And I think also because Rog and Roll is blue, and ch since Cho, Cho is Ravenclaw, so I associated it like. Girl who's blue. Yeah, so this is Cho. Uh, alrighty. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the cave now. Goodbye. Yeah, Sharon, you fend for yourself with those team plasma grunts. Oh, I'm so happy. I like how this story it lets you just run around, do your own thing while there are criminals trying to steal Pokemon <laughs> and you're just like oh well they'll just stand there forever and wait for me all right so let's check out Cho Cho is level 11 timid in nature uh, yeah it has 30 um, it seems like a typical rock and roller high defense Wait, no, no, it's special defense is low too. It has high defense, but low special defense. That's not good. That means any... Because now both uh, Hedwig and Cho both have uh, low special defense. Oh man, okay. Well, oh well. Should I train Cho? We'll try getting one level from Cho in this uh, Route 3 here. Let's try that grass on that. Is that a trainer? Oh, yeah, no, let's not fight the trainer. I don't want to risk uh, fighting a trainer who might kill our Pokemon and then having to face Team Plasma after that. No. Uh, headbutt. Head butt. Fight, fight, fight. Okay. So, oh. So a random thing I noticed. Well, maybe not random, but uh, I noticed uh, when I was naming my Pokemon. Um, most of my uh, Pokemon's names. Most of, most of them are named after characters in Harry Potter who... Uh, so this is spoiler alert, if no one, if you haven't uh, seen all, every Harry Potter movie or read every book. Uh, I assume you have because Harry Potter is such a big deal, such a big thing. And um, yeah, it's, and it's, uh, it's been around for a while. So I, uh, I assume you all already know everything about Harry Potter uh, so yeah so this is I guess a spoiler but most of the Pokemon oh here's Bide Pat Rat using Bide oh well we got it okay yeah so uh, most of the names I've been given giving my Pokemon uh, have been named after characters that eventually die in the Harry Potter series uh, I eventually die or already are dead. And here's a Blitzel. Blitzel who we've been trying to run away from when I was training Hedwig, but now we don't have to run away anymore. Okay. 
You, see, you keep charging, but uh, I could kill you in this turn. Just like that. Ooh, uh, almost level 12. But yeah, most of my Pokemon have been named after dead characters. Like, my Snivy was Nagini, who does eventually die. Um, my Panpo was named Myrtle, who was already dead to begin with. She was a ghost. And the only... And... <laughs> And uh, the only Pokemon that I did not name after a dying character was my Lily Pup, who was Fluffy. Uh, I actually don't know what happens to Fluffy. Like, what happened to him after the first movie? I, I don't know. I assume not dead, though. And Cho is level 12! Alright. Um... So yeah, and now I have a pit of who is Hedwig, who also dies in the end. So oh, I hope that's not foreshadowing, but it seems like their names have been kind of foreshadowing their fates. So from now on, I'm going to try to name, come up with names uh, that do n are not of a character who dies. Hence, hence Cho is named Cho. Uh, I'm gonna put Hedwig out first because she is higher level, and I guess we'll try to fight these grunts. And there's a Pokemon. Oh, oh Woobat. It's like Zubat, but Woobat. Well, kind of glad you weren't my. My first encounter, I'm glad we got a Roggen Rolla. Conch! This bothersome bunch doesn't really listen to reason. That child cannot use a Pokemon to its full potential. Doesn't that make the Pokemon sad? It's the same thing for all your Pokemon. So hand them over to us now! Better yet, we'll just take them! Alright. Let's see you try. Oh no, the pat rats! The pat rats! No, oh no. Air cutter. I uh, detect. I don't really see what's the point of you know moves like detect or protect. Oh no, the bide! Oh, oh, thank goodness, crit. That was a crit. Good job, Hedwig. Good job. Whew. Well, that's one grunt. One grunt down. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, I don't understand what's the point of using detect or protect because it's like you're just delaying. You know, if, if the other Pokemon's gonna beat you, they're still gonna beat you, you're just, you just kind of delay when you die. So, I never understood the point of it. Anyways, Team Plasma. What? How can we lose when we have right on our side? Not bad, Conch. Okay, go return the Pokemon to that girl. I don't recall them giving me back my po- giving me her Pokemon. You don't need to return it! How troublesome. Not only do you fail to understand, but you actually got in our way to boot. There's two of you and two of us. We'll show you our combined power and teach you that we are right. So there are more of them. Still, why are Pokemon robbers acting so self-righteous? Conch, we've been friends our whole lives. We've got each other's back when it counts. Let's show them how it's done. Alright. Double battle. Okay, they each only have one Pokemon. That is, that is good news for us. 
and the pat rat and another pat rat. I don't like pat rats. Okay. All right, I'm an air cutter. Oh, air cutter hits both? Oh, that's great. And there's detect. What? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, that was pretty bad. Okay, but we hit them both this time. Oh, so close. Oh, why are you only biting me? Oh, you guys are like targeting me. Okay, so we've only seen them use Detect, Bite, Odor Sleuth. They're not gonna have some attack that can knock out Hedwig, right? Let's go. Oh, there's Detect again, because you were about to die and you knew it. Okay, yeah, potion time, potion time. All right, one pat rat down. Why do they keep biting me? Why don't you guys attack Sharon's Tepig? Okay, I'm gonna do a quick attack. believe that Team Plasma lost to such kids. You better believe it, because it happened. In order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will take their Pokemon. Whatever. What a waste of time. Come on. What reason could possibly justify stealing Pokemon from people? Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. What do you mean? Trainers are making Pokemon suffer. I don't get that at all. We'll give you back the Pokemon, but be aware of how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. Someday, open your eyes to your own complicity. Trainers bring out their Pokemon's strength. Pokemon believe in their trainers and respond to that. I don't understand what about that makes Pokemon suffer. Okay, Conch. I'll return the Pokemon. Alright, what am I supposed to do? Alright. Oh, there's that trainer over there that we might have to fight. And there's Pokemon up there, in the grass. Which I am not going to go fight. Gotta be super careful. Oh, it's you guys. Oh. Okay, I wanted to go heal. I guess not. Conch, thank you so much. The two of you got her Pokemon back. I'm lucky to have friends like you two, too. Thank you, miss. Please take these as a thank you present. Heal walls. Oh, that's useful. Especially since I might not be able to heal right immediately after catching a Pokemon. Oh, those are heal balls. They completely heal the captured Pokemon on the spot. How sweet of you. I'm going to see this girl on her way, so see you later, Conch. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bianca. Okay. Gonna heal. Gotta heal my Pokemon. I guess I'll go fight this trainer here. I think there's a trainer. Uh, maybe we'll put Cho in front. Maybe we can let Cho get some experience. Yep, 
Your Pokemon look quite good. Would you show me how you've been training them? Alright. Oh, it's just three Pokemon. And it's a pad rat. How come everyone has a pad rat? This will just headbutt bites. That should be fine. Okay, yeah. Tackle, that should be okay too. Cause we are a rock type. Whoop. Lily pup. I think we've got this. We got we can handle a lily pup. Clear lowers defense. But I think we're still okay. Uh still a tackle. It doesn't have much HP left. Lowered our defense again. Almost level 13. Oh, and here's Pidov. Headbutt. Leer again. So our defense is like three times down. The lower. Oh, that didn't do much damage. Uh, 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 okay. Well, I was gonna say they keep using Leer and it, it's not gonna help if they don't attack, but uh, they just gusted. But still didn't do that much damage because Cho is awesome. At level 13. Please let your precious Pokemon have this. An orange berry. All right. I haven't seen any berry trees. Um. Yeah. Are we supposed to just find berries? Or like I don't know. So far, every berry that I have was given to me by someone. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check what TMs I have. I'll just work up and cut. Okay. Just gonna see if there was anything I can teach Cho. But I guess not. Oh, are you. Do you wanna fight? Okay, let's go for it. <laughs> Now I get to show off everything I learned in the trainer's school. Alright, school kid. You got one Pokemon. And it's a Blitzel. Blitzels are pretty tough. Good thing we were leading with Cho. Uh, I'm gonna sand attack you first. Oh no. They went first. Oof, that was a lot of damage. Uh, I think we can take one more hit. Uh, how much damage did this do? 15? Yeah, 15 damage. So we can take another hit if they do Shockwave again. Just hope they don't do a stronger attack. Okay, quick attack. Quick attack only did two. Okay, we can still take another shockwave if they choose to do that. 
and they did not and they missed okay one more another shockwave again oh i completely forgot a critical hit existed please don't be a critical hit oh and there's that orange berry that we just got in use already Oh, so close to level 14. Well, that orange berry was kind of a waste because we're going to go heal right now. Is that Sharon? Found an antidote. Can we train? Try to get show up to level 14. Headbutt. Uh, so, um, this kind of, not, I didn't just realize, but, uh, I haven't said yet that Cho won't be able to evolve to her final, uh, evolution stage, assuming she even survives long enough to evolve, because, yeah, because, uh, you need to, tr uh, trade to get to the, the third stage of evolution. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh, you want to learn Rock Blast? Uh, yeah, we are definitely learning that. Mm. I think we're going to get rid of Tackle, because Tackle is kind of the same as Headbutt. Let's take a look. Yeah. I haven't used Harden at all, though. But... Now since tackle's the same as headbutt, there's no need to have two of pretty much the same thing, so I'm gonna get rid of tackle. Ta-da! Cho, learn a rock blast! Alright, gonna go heal again. Sharon over there in some greener grass. Conch, stop! That dark, tall grass over there. Every now and again, two Pokemon will pop out at the same time. In other words, you have to be careful in the darker grass. I'm heading on to Nakreen City. Alright. Thanks for the tip. Uh, I guess that means I'm not going to go in there. Because I am still very worried about accidentally killing off my Pokemon. Do you want to fight? Yes. So I'll fight trainers, but I'm not going to go into like any sort of grass or like try to avoid Pokemon that seem stronger than the usual wild Pokemon. So like I'm not going to go towards any rustling grass. What is tall grass? Also, did you guys see how, like, uh, cause Cho is in the Dusk Ball? How, like, when he comes out, there's like a little darkness swirl, like a black hole. I think it looks really cool. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, it's like, it's like Cho's coming out. Holy moly. 
Please do it. One more hit. One more hit. Oh, are you serious? Super potion this. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna headbutt. Hopefully this does not miss. Oh, and they go first and okay, we're good, we're good. Okay. That was really frustrating. That was really scary. That was terrifying. You're a terrifying person. Okay, walk, walk right back to healing. Um, but yeah, that was pretty close. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go over to the Pokemon Center and see if I can buy any medicines. I have lots of potions, but uh, Super potions will be better. Super potions. Oh, antidote, paralyze, heal, all these things. Okay, um, I guess some super potions. Will five be enough? Buy some antidotes too, in case anyone gets poisoned. We don't want to be walking around with a poisoned Pokemon. Uh, maybe some burn heals too, for the same reason. These are more expensive. Yeah, I, if I remember correctly, burn and poison will continue sucking life out of, out of your Pokemon even when you're not done battling. So, gotta keep some antidotes and burn heals. And I think I'm gonna grind a little bit more. So, yeah. I'll just be grinding. I'll fast forward this part. I'll see you on the other side. And Cho grew to level 16. All right, those are its stats. Uh, like how the first half are all pretty high and then the second half is all pretty dismal. But I think that's just how rock and rollers are. All right, so I also realized that uh, before I started my grinding session, I didn't say why I wanted to grind. It was really just that previous trainer battle. I thought it came a bit too close. Uh, I didn't like that, so 
I thought I'd bring Cho up to level 16. And now we go down to in the Korean city. Are there more trainers? Oh, there are. Okay, well, hello. It's best to use what you have learned in order to master it. Alright. Oh, she has two Pokemon. And this pat rat, how come everyone has a pat rat? Okay. And detect. Yeah, but I feel better having Cho against these pat rats because oh uh, there's Bide. Because yeah, Cho has sturdy, so you can't kill her in just one hit. It doesn't matter. We still we killed them in one hit. Here's a purloin. Fury swipes. They each only did one damage. Yeah. Alrighty. Moving on. I like how the game uh, also has like day and night and it matches real life. I can't, we found an awakening. Yeah, it actually looks really pretty. It's a uh, sunset in the game right now. Hello there. I was just thinking about a new battle strategy. All right. Okay, you have two Pokemon. School kid Edgar. The pit of. Well, I have a rock and roller. One hit, two hits. Bam. Oh, he has his own Rog and Rolla. Oh man. Oh man, how does Rock do against other Rock? It's just normal. That's okay. I guess we'll do this. What? Okay. Boss, that's one hit. Oh, that did almost nothing. Two hits, three hits, four. Can we do five? Nope. Well, that brought almost halfway, oh, but he hardened again. All right, we'll just try rock blasting it. One hit, two hits, three. Four? Four hits? Yeah. Can we do a fifth hit? Oh, that was a critical hit, so it didn't matter. Awesome. Cho is just doing awesome. Level 17! <laughs> Special defense and speed do not increase. The life of a rock and roller. She wants to learn Mud Slap. Uh, okay. I don't think I ever really used Mud Slap. Uh, it's like sand attack, right? Hold up. Yeah, it's so lower accuracy. So it's like sand attack, but while also doing damage. Sure, why not? Sand get rid of sand attack. At the city now? Hello there. I should have bought more Pokeballs. A Pokemon wanted to catch just came out and I missed it. Okay. Hi, I have some questions for you. If you want to play, which do you prefer, outside or at home? 
Well, I like playing Pokemon, which I do at home. I see, I see. Then which one are you interested in? The thing everybody knows or the thing nobody knows? Uh... Hmm... Maybe the thing everybody knows? Because it'd be kind of stupid if everyone knew something and I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, really? I say you are quite composed. What does that mean? Was that supposed to mean something? Oh, here we are. No, Korean City. Oh, hi, Sharon. Oh, please don't fight. I don't want to fight. You're not going to fight, are you? Uh... We just fought you though right before Team Plasma happened, so you're not gonna suddenly fight now, right? I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon just in case. Just in case. Run, 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 all the way back. Running, 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 running. Okay, and all healed. And now, I, if Sharon does want a battle, we can take him on. If he doesn't, that's fine too. All right, hey there, Sharon. with me a sec. Okay. If you go straight from here, there's a Pokemon Center. And use these if you want. Chesto berries. He likes giving people berries. Alright, thanks. Give your Pokemon a Chesto berry to hold. Then if it ever falls asleep, it will wake up immediately. Oh, and another piece of advice. The Korean City's gym leader uses normal types. If you have a fighting type Pokemon, it might give you a big advantage. Thank you. That's actually very helpful information. Uh, oh, oops. All right, so I guess we just go to gym battle? Oh, are they playing with their DS wirelessly? Okay, I guess I'll explore around a bit, see if anyone has... Oh, this guy's a shop. Oh, these kinds of items. Yeah, no, I don't really use those. But yeah, I was gonna just... Say, I'm gonna explore the city, try to talk to everyone, see if anyone has anything free to give me. Okay, so I went around and talked to everyone in the town. Seems like a pretty cool town, but uh, I only got one free thing and that was a miracle seed. Uh, sadly, Nagini is dead, so I don't have any grass type Pokemon to give it to. Um, Pinwheel Forest is right over here though. So I don't know, should I, I should try to catch a Pokemon since because why not, right? Uh, there is a trainer. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if we're strong enough for this, but I do want to catch another Pokemon first. 
before challenging the gym leader. So I guess we do have to fight. Let's see. Oh, I guess not. What do you want? Yo, traveling trainer. Are your Pokemon getting stronger? Here, this might come in handy. Rock smash! Oh, that might be good for Rock and Rolla. Rock smash is a move that sometimes reduces your foe's defense stat. It is super effective against normal type Pokemon, which gym leader Lenora likes. Oh, thank you. All right. Um, do these people f want to fight? Well, actually, let's go look at that rock smash. So I'm looking at Rock Smash here. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's compare it to the uh, other moves that Cho knows. So I have not used Harden at all. Or Mud Slap, but we just learned Mud Slap, so. I did use Sand Attack before. Um, yeah, so compared to Rock Blast, so when it comes to moves like Rock Blast where they uh, f attack, they hit multiple times, I never know, is the power 25 for each hit or is it the total 25? Like common sense makes me think, I think it's more common sense if it's uh, each hit is 25. So that means that this attack does two at least two 25 power hits this does 140 power hit but i don't use harden at all so might be useful oh rock smash is a fighting type actually i thought it was a rock type this whole time because it's called a rock smash well i guess you're smashing rocks so you're not rock type okay so yeah, we probably do want to have this against the gym leader. I think I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll replace Harden with Rock Smash. Chill, learn to Rock Smash. Whoop. All right, I think these are some trainers. We will fight them. Or not fight them. Oh yeah, we are fighting them. The challenge rock. There's Sherry. Only has one Pokemon. It's Mana or Muna. Level 15. Okay, Psychic types. I'm looking at the type chart right now. They are weak to fighting. So let's try that Rock Smash. Imprison. What does Imprison do? Wait, it's not very effective. Oh, oh, my bad. I read that completely wrong. I read it opposite. Uh, well, in that case, I guess we'll just use Rock Blast. Two, three. Oh, come on. Okay, one more should do it. Psybeam. Okay, that did like half HP. Whew. Okay. Oh, thank you. 
Nice to know there are nurses in the middle of nowhere. Okay. I think I'm gonna run around this grass. Let's see if I can catch a new Pokemon. Oh, first step, there's a Pokemon. Oh. Timber. Okay. Uh, so I know you're fighting type, which we are weak against. Uh, so I think I'm gonna switch over to Hedwig. Oh, there, and there's Bide. And there is Bide. So we are going to just growl. I know I'm, I know Bide now. So don't attack while they're biting. Lower, lower its attack in the meantime too, because it's a fighting type and they usually have attacks. Like, attack as a non-special attack. Like physical attacks, there you go. Okay, so I think a quick attack shouldn't kill it. A little quick attack. Yeah. Okay. It's using focus energy. Okay, we'll try quick attack one more time. But it's just use focus energy, so it's probably going to attack. But, uh... Only fighting is weak against flying, so I think we should be okay. Okay, just, okay. Time to lob Pokeballs at it. Pokeball, Pokeball. One, two, three. Caught it! Caught the timber! Yes. Um, so while we were fighting, I was thinking of a name for it. And he looked like a little cocky little boy, which is what Harry is. So you are Harry. I also like how he carries this timber, carries a log around. It's like a giant wand. So you're, you're Harry. Let's go. Oh yeah, we have three Pokemon now. And one of them is good against the upcoming gym, so that's good. Let's check out Harry. Take a look at him. Level 13. Leer, Focus, Energy, Bide, and Low Kick. Uh, stats. Seem okay. Uh, yeah, defenses are fine. Attack is very high. It seems pretty normal for a fighting Pokemon. Um, all right, let's see if this guy wants to fight. Oh, nope. If you go straight, it doesn't take long, but if you go the wrong way, it's a maze. Is Pinwheel Forest a path or a maze for you? Well, I usually just like to go straight. I like to follow, follow the path. So I'm not much of an explorer. Uh, so yeah. Actually, I don't know why I just ran over here. We should probably train Harry. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what we will do. We will train Harry. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, let's come to go to the old route uh, because we know for sure we can handle the Pokemon here. Uh, yeah, so I guess this will be another grinding session. Uh, I'll fast forward through this part.
Okay. I'm done grinding. I got Harry up to level 15. Uh, here are his stats. Uh, no new moves, but he's level 15 now. So I also realized while I was grinding that uh, my three Pokemon are n I have Harry and Cho, which is funny because there was that whole plot line in Harry Potter when they like had when Harry and Cho kind of had crushes on each other, and it was really weird and like awkward. Uh, so that's funny because we have Harry and Cho right here. And the Hedwig's just hanging out here. So yeah, um, I think that's all for this episode. It's a bit of a shorter episode, but well, I think we did pretty well. We got two Pokemon, Cho and Harry, which I am very happy about. Uh, we're, guys, we're finally getting gaining some momentum in this Nuzlocke. And no one died, so hooray. And no one died. Uh, I guess next episode we'll go into this gym here and yeah, I guess we'll challenge the gym leader. Alright, I'll see ya.